The only Senate seat picked up by Democrats so far is the battleground state of Nevada. First term Congressman, Congresswoman rather, Jackie Rosen defeated Republican Senator Dean Heller in one of the closest contests of the night. On a night when women, women are winning up and down the ballot, this is a historic night for us. Because now Nevada joins to be the fifth state with two women senators. All right, she's not looking so wacky right now. Jamie Yukas is outside Caesars Palace in Las Vegas, where Rosen celebrated with her supporters. Jamie, good morning to you. Good morning. It was a very late night for Democrats here. Volunteers were even late to their party, many of them driving voters last minute to the polls, just minutes before they close. But all those efforts seem to have paid off with a win for Jackie Rosen. Over the past 48 hours, Rosen had rallied and canvassed nearly nonstop. She won here with a large backing from the Culinary Union, which she was actually part of when she worked as a waitress at Caesars Palace during college 40 years ago. This was one of the Democrats' best chances to flip a Senate seat. Incumbent Dean Heller was the only Republican senator up for re-election in a state that Democratic presidential nominee Hillary Clinton won in 2016. Heller did both low-key meet and greets and large rallies with President Trump. Heller was once a critic of the president, but the two had aligned when it came to repealing the Affordable Care Act. Now, Heller said last night this was the first time in 30 years he had to call an opponent and concede during an election. CBS News exit polling shows that health care was the main issue, and that is what Rosen ran her campaign on, John. A while now, yeah, Jamie, thank you.